is all you'll need for a pate brise pastry which is basically just a short crust pastry but with an added egg yolk so you're going to need an egg some butter plain white flour a bit of seasoning and a couple of tablespoons of water first thing we're going to do to make your pastry is go in with your flour to a food processor if you haven't got a food processor put it into a mixing bowl because you're going to mix it by hand with your butter make sure your butter's cold chop it, chop it into little cubes to help it mix and then either by hand in a big bowl or in a processor until it resembles breadcrumbs when it's mixed so it resembles something like breadcrumbs I said you're going to go in with your egg yolk two tablespoons of water and again get those mixed in if like me it still seems just a tad dry you're just going in with another tablespoon of water and mix it there we are when it resembles something like that but it'll come together to form a dough ball you're going to cover that with cling film and stick it in the fridge for half an hour when your pastry has been in the fridge 30 minutes or more it's time to get whatever you're going to be putting it into in this case a flan dish Give it a white round with some butter. When your flan dish is lined, it's time to get your pastry out of your cling film. And then we're going to roll it to the size of your pastry dish. When it looks about right, put your flan dish over it. To check that it's all going to fit and then roll it up onto your rolling pin and then out over your flan disc dish not disc and then tuck it in nicely then just take the excess off To the bottom of there, you're just gonna prick it with a fork, then cut some grease proof baking paper, put that in. then into there with dried beans whatever I'm using pasta doesn't matter whatever just to weight it down a little bit and then that is going in the oven to blind bake it's called for 10 minutes at 200 degrees and it's had 10 minutes take it out the oven take out the weight of the beans or whatever you put in there and then you're going to pop that back in the oven for another five minutes after your pastries add another five minutes hopefully come out looking something like that so it's a bit fluffier than your normal pastry that's because you've added that egg yolk into it and now it's ready for your mixture. 